Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. We are at the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas and we are in the Fari Cars booth. There you go. And we're with Fari of Fari Car slash uh, uh, VIP design, I see. And you guys make some beautiful Class B vans. These are Sprinter vans, right? You just do Sprinter vans? These are Sprinter vans. These are based on passenger vans, actually, okay. uh, specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we do is uh, we, we would get the units uh, from factory and then we would do full conversion uh, to have a final product that we okay. can actually uh, deliver to the client. So you don't get the empty vans, you get like passenger uh, vans or certain amount of seats? With, with this with this specific product, we do passenger vans because the way they uh, they were tuned from the factory with the transmission, with the suspension, and the engine. Okay. It's for moving people. Right. It's not a cargo van or a crew van that we yeah. use. So that helps okay. a lot with the right quality right. for moving people around, actually. Absolutely. So we would have to take out all the seats, all the trims that come yeah. from the factory, yeah. and we would install our own design okay. and everything. And by the way, these are the most beautiful vans I've seen so far. Okay, I've been doing this for a little while, like all this year. <laughs> but these are really, really, you guys are in for a treat. Uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, so we're going to go inside these two vans and show that to you guys right now. Uh, what can you tell the folks out there? So you're making, you're doing passenger vans. You're not doing any like uh, like camper van kinds of things, right? Uh, we, we do, but with this uh, with this show, it's a, it's a, this is a launch edition of our product, Magnum okay. Opus. Actually, okay. this is our top of the line Sprinter conversion. Okay. So with the with the camper van requests or like more custom requests, mm -hmm. we have other packages as well that okay. will be. Uh, with different uh, features. Okay. Uh, we do camper vans with the uh, 144 wheel base and okay. uh, all wheel drives as right. well. But, oh, okay. uh, but this is the product that we wanted to bring to SEMA right. and actually showcase. Right. So, but we do camper van uh, custom uh, builds as well. Okay, you do. So where are you guys located? Uh, we're in New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, we, do, uh, we do serve East Coast and West Coast. Okay. Like we're a bike coastal brand. Uh, <laughs> our shop is in New Jersey, we have a sales office in LA, okay. and then we have service location in the East Coast and West Coast. Oh, okay, cool. Um, the thing, the thing with that is um, these vehicles we use with this product, they're actually they actually have factory units, ACs, doors, and side steps, oh, okay. so you would be able to service them at any Mercedes-Benz dealer. So you could still go to Mercedes. You could still go to Mercedes because those are the things that kind of break down more often mm -hmm. than the engine or transmission. So you'll right. be able to service your vehicle at any Mercedes Benz dealer. So do you guys have the authorization from Mercedes to do we that? We are a van partner with uh, Mercedes Benz in Germany. We're in the process of becoming a master of fitter in US okay. as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Can someone bring their own van or they buy these built already like this from you guys? We do actually both. Uh, what we do is like if you would bring your van to us, we will be happy to convert mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have our old units that are like fully finished just like these yeah. ones in stock as well. Okay, cool. So we do a bit of both and we work a little with, bit of both. We have this program with the Mercedes-Benz dealers and some mm -hmm. private dealers as well that they would have um, like units in pipeline. Yeah. And then we would be able to get their orders with their like color combinations mm -hmm. that uh, clients ask and uh -huh. then we would be able to finish them in a really competitive lead time. Okay, like, cool. That's the, that's the program we, we were still trying to um, work with the dealers mm -hmm. because of the shortage, the lead time on conversions are extremely long. Yeah. So to beat that, we developed this program that we are currently at like four and a half months of yeah. lead time for okay. this type of conversion, which is that's very not competitive. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad compared to like people are doing six months to a year. Yeah, it's, right uh, now. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, it's yeah. Shortage on everything, like it's uh, very tough to do, but again, like we have these mm -hmm. vehicles semi-finished mm -hmm. in pipeline, so mm -hmm. then we would get your order, your combination, mm -hmm. and we will be able to finish it okay. in a shorter period of time. How does financing work with you guys? Do people have to get their own financing when they come to you, or do you guys do that, so or they just have to have the money? <laughs> 
give us Fires the Fires only. Fires <laughs> yeah. only. No, 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 I'm just joking. Uh-huh. So what we do is like when we work with the Mercedes-Benz dealers, mm-hmm. for example, East Coast, we are in touch with uh, Mercedes-Benz Manhattan, and then okay. in LA, downtown LA, uh, mm-hmm. does it for us. Okay. And we are in touch with uh, luxury owner collection and Scott okay. Mm-hmm. So they have this great financing program to yeah. go through a dealer and order. Okay. Uh, but if you directly come to us, we will be able to. We have some financial institutions that we work with for okay. our own uh, oh, good. financing. So right. we would be able to direct them. Okay, cool. Uh, but uh, we try to do what we do the best mm-hmm. and build. Right. And then we try to have our dealers and partners. Like take cover over the financial and side of it. Financial yeah, that's, that's absolutely. That's what they do, be, do the best. And yeah, it's hard enough do, to build. <laughs> it's hard enough to build. Like we, yeah. we, we really don't want to uh, get into that, and you know we we're not into that. Like we're, yeah. we're not looking into becoming a financial institution. Yeah, I understand. So yeah. let's take a look at these vans. Let's sure stop thing. teasing everyone. Sure. You want to start with this one here? So sure. do you have a model name for this? What's yeah, it called? That's, that's called Magnum Opus. It's a large edition. You'll see, okay. the, you'll see the sign right over there. Yeah. So we'll let you go in here, Lola. Now, obviously, are you completely separated from the driver here? So uh, we have this um, partition unit where you can mm. control it from here. Right here, uh, Lola. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a power partition. You can control from your mic and so this way, if you're with your family or with your team, you don't, mm-hmm. you don't need the privacy and you can mm-hmm. easily communicate with the driver. Mm-hmm. And then you need to have some privacy if you're in a meeting or something like that, mm-hmm. uh, then you can actually uh, you can actually close it down. And so can you? Con- I'm guessing you can control everything from here. The seat you're on is mm-hmm. actually an S-Class seat. It's right. an actual Mercedes-Benz S-Class seat mm-hmm. that we get from factory and we upholster with our custom oh, okay. uh, design. Mm-hmm. And the your control unit is actually from an S class. It's right, a, that's what I noticed. Yeah, it looks just it's, like it's original Mercedes Benz parts yeah, that everything. we would that we would modify uh, with the buttons to serve our conversion better. Right, like that's what we do. So mm-hmm. let me show you real quick. So on an S class side, obviously you have a cooling, and then you have a heating option right mm-hmm. here. You can control the door from here, and yeah, yeah. all these four yeah. seats mm-hmm. actually have it. Let me close so let's make it. sure no one's there. Uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> it's, it's in a show, so let's not do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, let's let's go. Yeah, to if the, if we weren't here at the show, we would close the door, but we don't <laughs> want to hurt anyone out there that's not paying attention. Yeah. You have your service table right in front. Oh, okay. Of you. I'll let you use that. So this actually brings out. Oh. Just just hold it. Just oh, hold, hold it, it, and it comes out. There oh, look go. at that! What? This is like a Maybach. Exactly. That's the yeah. that, <laughs> that's the idea. Very nice. Oh, okay. The idea is like having that that's cool. extended S class yeah. that's not in Mercedes Benz portfolio, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you have. I think I would rather have this over a Maybach. <laughs> I mean, you can do it yeah. with your family, with your teammates. Yeah, exactly. It's a, a seven seater yeah. right here. Yeah. So, so you could be in the middle of Manhattan in this, and someone's driving around, exactly. and you guys are having a meeting. Exactly. Yeah. So you can. Nice. Uh, the other thing over here is you can control your lights. In the cabin, we have two main lights, right? Mm-hmm. One is the main headlight right here, mm-hmm. and the other one is starlight. So I'll mm-hmm. let you use that. To play with that. So box. right here. Yeah, that's our that's your main light that right. only leaves the ambient lights and the starlights right. on. Oh, very nice. So the ambient lights are so like color changeable. You can control it through the app, right. and you can uh, synchronize to the music you're listening to. Like oh, it's, cool. To it's throb with the beat. Kind exactly, of a thing. Okay. it works with the beat as well. It, it changes color. It has a lot of functions through mm-hmm. the app oh, that you can nice. control. Mm-hmm. And the, over here, you have this starlight uh, up top. Mm-hmm. Um, you can turn you it, can off it, it off and off. Okay. I would personally keep it on. Yeah, at it's all, nice. at all yeah. times. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, that's that's the that's the idea of it to write. It's, so at it's every perfect. does every seat have this? I noticed there's something here to charge the phone. Yes. Yeah, so, so you could take your phone and put it in. Every seat pocket has okay. this wireless charger, mm-hmm. USB charger, and the universal outlet. So it's oh. like international. Doesn't okay. matter uh, where you are. It's gonna work with the local mm-hmm. outlets. Mm-hmm. So. Um, and what is this? That's a that's a uh, iPad holder mount oh. that we developed. Okay. It's, it works with so you just the, magnetize. Yeah, it works with the Mercedes Benz iPad holder. Okay. I'll show you on the other van that okay. it, that he actually cool. charges your phone, charges mm-hmm. your iPad, mm-hmm. right? 
and it will be your control tower to airplay anything or you can do your presentations mm -hmm. and so simply you can use your TVs mm -hmm. from your phone or from your iPad through the holder oh, and this okay. is actually uh, something we we do a couple of couple of ways like mm -hmm. if you if you don't need the iPad holder through here you can have the flat okay. uh, armrest because some people would require more space in between in we between, can do yeah. both like mm -hmm. we have the parts coming with the vehicle it's oh, okay. easy is easy to replace so okay. depending on the customer's preference mm -hmm. we, we will do that so so windows here can yeah. you actually see out through the windows i noticed we can't right one, now these ones uh, are coming with a five percent tint that we oh, did okay. uh, most of clients uh, prefer that that's but that's want. also mm -hmm. optional like if you want okay. factory windows they also have tinted like mm -hmm. 25 30 percent okay but we do some extra like five percent oh. for these for these ones so mostly you find your yeah. clients don't want to see out there at all uh, most like 90 percent of the time mm -hmm. this curtain is closed okay uh, yeah. with, the, with these vehicles mm -hmm. 90% of the time, these vehicles are closed, yeah. seat is reclined, starlights are on, yeah. life is good. <laughs> Just chilling <laughs> in here. That's, life, that's, life is very good. Yeah, I and can I'll imagine. Show, and I'll show you the sound system on the other one. Yeah. So what we have over here is actually you have a matching storage box mm -hmm. slash humidor. We, we provide with both. So yeah, if you, you can want have your, your cigars. personal belongings in here, mm -hmm. like uh, whatever you need, you can keep mm -hmm. it. Or we have a personal humidor that I'm going to show you on the okay. other van. Um, other than that, we have this fridge and Chiller. freezer. Mm -hmm. This smaller part is the uh, fridge, and this part is freezer. Mm -hmm. Would you like water? Oh, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I just had some water, but th okay, that's great. Sure. Yeah. So, um, and the other thing we have is an espresso machine. Oh, nice. With your espresso cups and pots, um, so you can have your coffee on the way. Uh, we have a PlayStation Five embedded right here. Oh, cool. So you can control. Uh, you can use it as your media control as well. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't want to do it through the iPad or an iPhone, right. you can you can uh, have your videos or games through the PlayStation 5 as well. That's very cool. The last thing I'm going to show you over here is our air heater. Mm -hmm. uh, because we use a factory unit, and especially okay. if you're in a very cold climate, mm -hmm. like New York, Midwest, or whatever, then you would need a supportive like, air heater. Yeah. And this one can be controlled from here. And in two to three minutes, it mm -hmm. would make inside nice and cozy. Okay. This is a system um, that are being used in RVs actually. Uh -huh. And uh, if you, uh, is this connected to the engine directly? So it's like running off the. These are diesel. I'm assuming. These are yeah, these are so diesel. It's, yeah. it's a three liter mm -hmm. V6 turbo diesel. So the, okay. the torque is extremely powerful and, yeah. and it has an extremely smooth ride. Okay, cool. And, and the van we use is a uh, like. We mostly use like a fully loaded passenger van, so you mm -hmm. have your 360 parking cameras, 10 inch multimedia screen mm -hmm. with navigation in front. Okay. You have Thermotronic, AC is heavy duty. Mm -hmm. So you simply get the amenities of a sedan Mercedes Benz vehicle in a sprinter van. Right. And then we make it better. Yeah, and you can sit like two, four, six people, right? Six to seven, that's a bench. Oh. can actually be turned into a two-seater, then executive seating. We have more cup holders right here and additional storage. So, um, and this actually is a bench that you can recline. I'll show you real quick. Uh, from here, uh, you can actually move the back seat all the way to the front. You see, it goes all the way. And it almost becomes a bed. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You can take a nap. And you then can take a good nap. That's yeah. where I sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually storage in the back, so we'll go to the back of this yes. one before we uh, go to the next one. This is very nice. Okay. Uh, so, does, do your clients for this have options on the wood, on the leather, trim, and stuff like that, so or basically actually, comes that's like this? The, that's the stuff. That's the part. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes this vehicle very special? Mm -hmm. We do uh, a lot of uh, hand applied uh, mm -hmm. premium finishes. Okay. Uh, this is a flowing line that Mercedes Benz uses a lot mm -hmm. in their S Class and Maybach options as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have um, more uh, options through carbon fiber and oh. mahogany as oh, well. Wow. So okay. it's like a, so when you when you uh, when you talk to us to. Uh, get a vehicle mm -hmm. like that you would have 
84,000 combinations from oh, okay. flooring to the Alcantara color. Oh wow. So you simply okay. you simply pick and choose five things. Mm -hmm. the first one is flooring. Mm -hmm. The second one is the ultra leather that we use on the trim. Mm -hmm. Third one is the uh, hand applied finish. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is the Alcantara that you okay. use. Mm -hmm. And the finally the, the the Napa leather we use for the seats. Oh, that okay. also comes with a lot of color options. Oh, I see. I'll show you some. And is this some, uh, some of the finishes that we have with the with the leather, the ultra leather and uh, wood finishing, hand applied wood finishing over here. So with the with the five options that you pick and choose from flooring to all the entire color, you you could have your own design and your own. Right. As I mentioned before, and then over here you would be able to see our different stitching options. Like this is the this is the middle part of the uh, process with the letter where you would only have the laser jets actually cutting them and then putting these stitch lines during our process. And then you would have your stitches and the and the cushion behind it, so it would be ready to put on a seat. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you here. This is our custom carbon fiber that we use on the white, white vehicle that we just showcased. Mm -hmm. And then these are the flowing line options uh, that we have. And then we have the classic mahogany uh, options as well. We have American yeah. oak, uh, rice here. Nice. Yeah. Very so, cool. And you have these, all these letter options that uh, it's it's simply your van. Like when you when you order a van with us, it's simply your own van with your own color combination. But of course, our designers would be guiding you to have a <laughs> great out, outcome. Yeah. Um, if for people that are not familiar, but we would we would try to understand what you're actually looking for and what would make you the happiest, and then we would guide you through the process happily. Is this actually a marble finish or a marble finish? It's not facial? a marble finish. Okay. That, that would be that would mm -hmm. be too heavy for right. a conversion like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a waterproof uh, vinyl finish. Okay. So this is this is what we use because it's extremely easy to use, very convenient. It's easy to clean. It's scratch free, mm -hmm. and again, the, the most important thing with the flooring in these vans is waterproof. Yeah. It has to be waterproof. Absolutely. If you use a wood grain, uh, wood grain material, that would be not easy to use and you would have to replace it and it's not easy to replace flooring in a not in something <laughs> like this right not not in this vehicle so. absolutely so cool that, that's more about the um like being convenient mm -hmm. being easy to use being easy to clean actually okay awesome yeah. let's yeah. take a look at the back sure. on this one sure see right here you've got your umbrella keep an umbrella in there when it's raining. Exterior wise, what are you guys doing out here? Are you repainting it? Is this yeah. the color that it came? So this is a um, like 90%, again 90% of these vehicles are black. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They come in either metallic uh, obsidian black mm -hmm. uh, from Mercedes Benz or jet black. Jet. So okay. those are the two options that, that we use most of the time. But what mm -hmm. we do is we actually paint all these accents and everything. All the trim. Including the uh, mirrors and the door handles. The, okay. the, air vents in front so it has to look like a yeah, yeah. right we actually uh, keep the exterior of the vehicle very discreet mm -hmm. most of the clients uh, ask for that mm -hmm. uh, but we have this uh, body kit options and the okay. uh, wheel options for um, especially for like this is this is something we hear a lot especially mm -hmm. in uh, west coast that mm -hmm. They, they actually want their vehicle to be more, more personalized. Yeah, it looks completely exterior. different from someone else's. But, uh, mm. um, you know, uh, uh, compared to East Coast, it's a mm -hmm. bit of a different yeah. situation. Like yeah, Coast, people want to blend go, in. Yeah, people yeah. want to blend in. Uh, yeah, versus so they want to stand park out. Somewhere, mm -hmm. like they, they don't want it to be actually flashy to yeah. other people. They want it to be discreet, mm -hmm. uh, but they want their uh, amenities inside. Right. Uh, but, yeah. But we have the option, we offer the option. Okay. Especially East Coast climate, it's not mm -hmm. very useful to use the body kit and the 20 inch wheels. Right, exactly. Uh, but uh, with the West Coast, it's, it's much more convenient. Okay, and yeah. so is there a lift on this at all? or? No, this is a, again, it's a passenger van, so okay. it comes with a suspension better than okay. the cargo van to actually right. move people, not okay. cargo. And so you could have four, I don't know, this is probably not a 4x4, four four, but you can have, can you have that option, or is this 
where we'll with the go. passenger van, mm. you don't have it, but with the mm. cargo vans, which is called like 3500 right. with the maximum you payload, have that. or mm. like 144, the shorter uh, yeah. wheelbase, which is the most popular. The camper going vans, off road, you yeah. have that option. Okay, cool. But again, it's a, it's a like a it's a manufacturer option. It's a Mercedes van yeah. option. Like it's about the vehicle that you're gonna get. So yeah. Whatever you want us to work on, we'll, we'll be happy to do that. Oh, cool. Sure. All right, let's go back here, take a look. So you've got a nice uh, Alcantara here. Yeah, the, the thing you, you're not going to see on this conversion is screws. There's no screws that oh. you can see on okay. this conversion, inside and out. Oh, OK. There's, there's, there's nothing mm -hmm. that can you see the yeah. tank you see from the outside. Oh, OK. But in the back, um, since this is a short wheelbase, it's a more like a personal executive vehicle. Mm -hmm. You have this personalized California closet like look mm -hmm. in the back. Yeah, I like you know, that. The, <laughs> but you can still have your three um, like 28 inch large check-in luggages that can here. fit. Yeah. Also you have your shoe racks yeah. and you have your personalized garment bags. Right. What we do when we deliver the vehicle, we would be personalizing the garment bags with really? your initials, with your oh, logo, nice. team name. Yeah, the, really? the, we have these options actually inside as well with the mm -hmm. headrest and some stuff. Like, oh, cool. Uh, we keep our branding very, uh, very uh, not to your face. Uh, right. So you would be able to still have your own customized okay. vehicle. Right. With, with our branding on So it. typically, like what would your clients be for something like this? So we, are we talking about teams? Are we talking about corporations? Yeah, Who yeah is we have it? those uh, three groups of people that are interested in buying these vehicles. Like mm -hmm. one of them is uh, hospitality, mm -hmm. like okay. uh, high-end yes. restaurants, yeah. hotels, yeah, yeah, yeah. more corporate, uh, yeah. uh, you know, groups. And mm -hmm. then the second one is um, the, the uh, it's a bit of a mixture of uh, business people mm -hmm. um, and then uh, people who doesn't want to fly actually to the short trips but right. still want to same amenities that yeah. they would have on a private jet that makes sense uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah but especially like what's going on recently like, yes it's, it's the, even the charters uh, mm -hmm. the private jets are booming a lot of so restrictions people yeah. actually ask for that privacy and they mm -hmm. want the convenience to mm -hmm. have their car in their in their yard and they drive mm -hmm. it whatever and then they would be able to just hop onto it and go wherever they travel, want to travel yeah. like a private jet like yeah that's that's what they ask for i think that's what it is yeah the, yeah. Third, the third group of mm -hmm. customers we have is the touring entertainers sports mm. players okay media teams like mm -hmm. production teams oh right or like uh, like a sports teams like we would we would do some custom uh, vans for them to have the four four seat layouts inside mm -hmm. and then like bike tracks atvs and okay. stuff in the back or for the touring entertainers, they would have their gear in the back. Yeah. So we, we, we do a lot of custom work with entertainers. Oh, as well. so you can have like a little studio in there exactly. if you wanted to. Exactly. We just okay. we just we just spoke to someone about it, like yeah. for a custom project. I think I've seen that. I've seen yeah. some rappers and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, that yeah, have yeah. studios yeah, in these yeah, vans. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can do that as well. All right, let's take a look at this one. All right. <laughs> so what what's the uh, concept here? What's this one called? It's the same vehicle, just in a different color combination. Okay. Actually, like so it's the, a Magnum Opus. It's a Magnum Opus again. Okay. It's a large edition. The, it looks uh, like this is a lighter finish going on in here. Yeah, this is um, this is what um, Mercedes Benz called the porcelain white. It's very similar to what they, what they what they offer mm -hmm. with, the, with this color. Um, so we have this carbon fiber finish mm -hmm. in this vehicle. I'll talk more about material right. in this one. You you see the the finish, the stitching, piping, routing, and okay. carbon fiber much better in, in, a, this in a lighter one. Yeah, setting. because it stands yeah. out. Okay, cool. Driver's cabin right here. Right, yeah, that's one of the things I was curious to find out about. So the guy who's driving, what do you yeah. guys do for him? So we try to get our passenger vans as full as possible. This mm -hmm. is a fully loaded Sprinter. This specific unit, it mm -hmm. comes with all the possible mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. that Mercedes vans have Okay. the passenger van. So mm -hmm. we even have like heated seats and motorized seats in front oh, nice. for the driver and passenger. Oh, okay. And what we do in front in this vehicle is we upholster 
the driver and passenger seats uh, with a matching color uh, through the cabin. And then we have our own storage box in front, okay. custom storage box with the cup holders as well. That's so like a tangle and storage box right there. Oh wow, okay. So I noticed this is perforated. Is it also heated and cooled? Or? This is heated. Factory doesn't have the cool option oh, in the doesn't. passenger end. Oh, so so, so we cannot do that. We, okay. we just do the heated one over here. Very nice. We have the 10 inch screen, uh, the MBUX system, entertainment yeah. system that uh, uh, that we see these bands does and uh, it has a thermotronic AC, heavy duty AC, so it would, it would be like a premium setting as well. And then you, you would have the 360 cameras and the parking assistance as oh, well. Good. So it's a yeah. fully loaded, secure and safe vehicle right. that you would see in a, same, in a sedan. Yeah. And I noticed there's cameras here. Yeah. So, so what, what we have here is a four channel DVR camera system mm -hmm. that can be uh, shown on the TVs inside, right? Okay. We have four cameras on the vehicle. One is actually watching the driver. Okay. One is like a road cam watching mm -hmm. the road. Out. Third one is in the cabin right here, watching the cabin, and fourth one is in the back, like okay. a backup camera. This mm -hmm. vehicle actually has a backup camera for the 360 parking, right. mm -hmm. but we also have a backup so camera. So they can see at any time what's behind. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's for that's for safety. That's yeah. not like for parking. In addition right. to what the vehicle already has. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. nice to have. So let's take a look inside of this one, man. Sure. Uh, I like I like the lightness in here, first of all. Sure. And this has a wood grain floor, so if you could. Explain this one to us a little. Sure. The, the flooring is actually the same as we've seen on the other one. It's just a different pattern. It's just to match the uh, combination over here. Right. Um, so with this van, we, we will be able to see more of the craftsmanship mm -hmm. that we have in this vehicle, mm -hmm. which makes it very special, right? Yeah. So when you when you look at the stitching and the perforation and the routing and the piping in this vehicle. Yeah, very detailed. That 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 what makes it actually mm -hmm. uh, very different than the other conver like mm -hmm. uh, conversions. Um, and if you if you if you would go inside, you will see the trim, the uh, carbon fiber trim that we yeah, that that's we really have nice. in this vehicle. Yeah, I like the surround here. Yeah, I'm a carbon fiber kind of guy. I like okay. this. Oh, yeah, I love this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, look, it's great. So the t the thing that you're not going to see very mm -hmm. often in mm -hmm. any vehicle is this side trim that mm -hmm. we have. Is yeah. is a whole one piece carbon fiber and oh, wow. white finish. Yeah, that's like not easy not to do. Not see any addition, mm -hmm. anything uh, that is in between. It's through the cabin. It's like a 15, 20 feet carbon fiber trim oh, wow. applied and applied at once. Mm. So that's something you will not be able to find. In yeah. Any other Let me sit down and show you the the uh, table, Lola. And so, as you said before, in the other one, we've got an iPad here. Yes, sir. Just the iPad station. You see that it's a uh, Mercedes Benz uh, iPad mm -hmm. holder uh, that they produce for an iPad Air, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, I want to also talk about the seats that we mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. uh, over here. You're sitting on a S-Class seat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, those are all factory seats mm -hmm. uh, that we get. And then the, the control units are also mm -hmm. uh, from Mercedes-Benz as well. Okay. And so I notice it's the same table. Yeah, this, we have we the same options uh, there we go. that you can open and close. Uh, these three seats. Oh, it's uh, carbon fiber here, even. Carbon fiber here as well. Very nice for your for your dining table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and then, do you guys do this finish on the speaker? So this is a this is a Burmaster uh, accessory that mm -hmm. we use. Okay. Uh, so Mercedes Benz don't have a premium sound system for the Sprinter vans. Okay. So we go with a German brand called Hertz. They're very good with the uh, sound system for the cars. Okay. So, but we still want to have this look of the kind of an extended S-Class premium looking. Uh, yeah. uh, I notice even on the speakers up here, you guys have a very those are yeah, Those are our, our, our custom speaker colors for our main speakers through the cabin. Uh, so if we talk about the sound system, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, two, su two subwoofers in the back, mm -hmm. two amplifiers that we place in the, in the driver's cabin, mm -hmm. and ten speakers through the cabin. Oh wow, okay. So, it's so four wonder, up there and then six. Check that out. 
Um, yeah, so you could, uh, uh, like you said, you keep those lights on the whole time. Yeah, exactly. And then you yeah. have your 1900 watt system in this vehicle, mm -hmm. and that's our mid range. It's okay. more than enough, but it's our mid range. Like if you're very uh, specific about sound, if you're very particular about the sound system, oh, I see. We have even better, packages. even higher range yeah. of sound. But yeah. if you want, we can we can have a we can mm. have a taste of it real quick. Sure. Uh, you want to close the door? Yeah. 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 Uh, hold on. Let's make sure there's no one there at the door. And uh, let's see, where's the door button? Right here? There you go. Okay, look out for the door. We're going to close the door. Here we go. Again, more carbon fiber, more diamond yeah. stitching. Looks great. I mean, it's like you're in a plane. It's right. It's this feels, much, yeah. this has the, this has the executive jet feel. Yeah, that system is not a joke. <laughs> not a joke. No, that is okay. amazing. It's yeah, if okay, you're, yeah. if you're in here, I wonder how it sounds outside. I'm sure you guys have some good sound deadening and insulation and yeah, things like that going on. Yeah, that's another here. thing with the with the mm -hmm. uh, passenger vans. They're already isolated, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, through the cabin uh, when they come from the factory. But mm -hmm. when when we take out the trims mm -hmm. from factory, mm -hmm. we, we put some additional insulation okay. through the cabin. So mm -hmm. that makes your uh, ride smoother mm -hmm. uh, with, the, with the ride quality. Also with the sound quality, mm -hmm. it helps a lot. Yeah. It keeps the sound inside mm -hmm. and it uh, cancels the sound out. Cancel the sound. So how would the passengers in here, for example, see what's going on outside? Like how, how we're closed out right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could be anywhere. Is there like how do you get to see the what's what's happening on all the different cameras? How does that work? Um, so that will be through our AV channel. Uh, so we make it to this. Oh, there you yeah, go. You actually see your four cameras, right? This is yeah. a four-channel DVR, like um, where you would see. That's actually a backup camera mm -hmm. on top right. It it now sees our. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, trunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Right, right on top left is a mm -hmm. is a door cam normally. Right, it's we can see people cam. walking yeah, around in the front of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And the third one, channel three, is to watch driver. The driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one is for the cabin. So sometimes people would uh, leave their cars with with the driver or somebody else, mm -hmm. and they would actually want to see that. And DVR system that we use is controllable. Uh, through an app on your phone, so okay. you would be able to see what's going on inside At all the times. vehicle okay. uh, through your phone, iPad, or whatever. Whatever you have the app, um, yeah. you know, uh, that comes with it. Yeah, Fari, this this is amazing. Um, I know there's a lot of different options. Maybe we'll roll in. I know you guys have some samples outside mm -hmm. and things like that. To, uh, probably my last question, unless you've got some things that you want to tell us, is what do these cost? So this this uh, specific unit, mm -hmm. uh, we, we we actually made eight of these vehicles mm -hmm. uh, to be available after this show through mm -hmm. the uh, through the end of the year. Through the end of this the year. This is a limited edition. It's we call it Magnum Opus Launch Edition. Right? Okay. Do we so, get a SEMA show discount? Um, we can talk about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's after the video. Yeah, so, afterwards. So with, uh -huh. the, with the launch edition, mm -hmm. uh, with the unit, mm -hmm. it's two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Okay. The vehicle we use is uh, a fully loaded passenger mm -hmm. van. That's mm -hmm. MSRP is seventy five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's actually pretty reasonable. It's under. In my brain, I was thinking it would be something higher than that. Yeah. So but um, it's so from the regular Class B vans. Obviously, this is not a camper van, and it's more in the limo category. Of I those, would say uh, limo it's vans. more but, like but executive, very high scale. Yeah, yeah executive um, jet van. Yes. They, they, they call it a lot yeah. of names. So. Yeah, that's that's you know uh, there may be people out there that are like oh wow, but that's pretty good. Thank you. That's pretty good Thank for you. the it's, it's really for the level of luxury. Guys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to see the model with the bathroom in the back too. So, so that, is there one that has a bathroom? Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we just developed that to be released in 2022 actually. Okay. Uh, in that van we would have uh, two executive seats just like these in okay. the back. So, mm -hmm. And we would have a sliding door in between oh. where you would have access okay. to the... We'll uh, come back and do so or we'll come out to New Jersey or something. Why and, not? Why not? You know, we'll Why check not? that out. Yeah, I'm Why sure. Why not? We yeah. actually have the uh, couple of uh, prototypes ready. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, if you can go to the website, you'll have, okay. have the 360 
you'll have an idea of, of what that's going to look like. Okay. Uh, so it's simply a small kitchenette in the mm -hmm. back with the sink, and you have mm -hmm. your microwave, and then okay. you have your small cabinet. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can have a small shower or a mm -hmm. restroom in the back as well. Like it's okay. It, it's it's highly customizable actually for okay. the back cabin. Mm -hmm. And we have those uh, other layouts and other packages that mm -hmm. are available. Um, I'll, I'll show you on our catalog as well. It's yeah, we'll take a look at that. For the folks out there who are looking at this, mm -hmm. uh, what website do they go to? They go to farycars.com. Farycars.com. It's, it's very up to date. It okay. has our. Uh, it, it it actually gives you a great idea mm -hmm. of what we do because. This is only a part of what we do, like mm -hmm. VIP van conversion mm -hmm. is a part of what we do. What In addition do. to that, we have something called garage, where mm -hmm. we would uh, take luxury cars and uh, Mercedes van sedan mm -hmm. vehicles, mm -hmm. and we would apply interior upgrades, multimedia upgrades, performance uh, upgrades okay. as well. Um, so, so you can have a Maybach out of not just a Mercedes, you can any, we like, you, like SUV? We, yeah, we, we do a lot of like, um, mm. Uh, European supercars like Ferraris, okay. Lamborghinis as oh, well, nice. uh, some Maseratis as well. We, okay, we, we cool. Do, we do some Rolls Royce. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, Bentleys. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. Uh, a lot of luxury cars. Yeah, I've got to so, check uh, that stuff out. But, right. but with, the, with the Mercedes Benz sedans, it's like mostly like either E class or S class, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so they would have like screens in the back of the headrest, mm -hmm. and we would upgrade the performance features mm -hmm. because. These vehicles have a lot of potential, right. and sometimes it's kind of limited with the factories. So oh, so you guys really w do a lot of stuff. That's interesting. I mean, the, the know-how we have is coming from being a van partner with mm -hmm. the Mercedes-Benz brand in Europe. Right. So it's, okay. it's, it's, it gives you a lot of uh, access to the mm -hmm. information, how, how these vehicles work, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the know-how that they have, actually. It's, yeah. it's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Then we, yeah. The, we, we have the team that is completely mm -hmm. uh, everything is in-house for you guys what everything you do, is right? in-house okay. like we, we don't we don't do anything uh, mm -hmm. like outsourced mm -hmm. but we have an international operation so okay. everything comes from the Mercedes-Benz factory mm -hmm. our own shops and mm -hmm. everything is being assembled and checked and quality controlled in US oh awesome thanks yeah. so much man I really Thank appreciate you, you so taking much. the time so to much. show us this yeah uh, my pleasure my absolutely pleasure. I'm glad my I found pleasure. you guys here there's no other van like this at the show so we'll try to show you guys some other vans but they're not gonna be like this no, so I, I hope appreciate that. yeah I hope you guys enjoy that uh, leave your questions and comments and I'll try to see if I can get Fari to come in there and answer some of those when of he has course. time of when course. he has time of course I will, I will be happy to do that <laughs> all right guys we're out of here Thank peace you. <laughs> I don't want to leave